Welcome back to our cyber. Damn glad to see you. We're going to continue working through what you need to know to get you past the certification exams that you are attempting. Next up, the CISSP Domain 1. So remember, as we walk through these exams, these are not meant to be an exception to your study materials. They're just here to supplement your study materials. I want to make sure that you have all the information and the key data points that you need to pass the first time. So it all starts with the C, the I, and the A, confidentiality, integrity, and availability. You need to understand the definitions of each and how they may apply to the questions themselves. Remember, confidential, keep something secret. Integrity, make sure that it's stable and trusted. And availability, make sure that it's there when the user needs it. Next, be sure you understand GRC, IT Governance, Risk Assessment, and Compliance. Remember that IT Governance is there to reconcile the business needs, whereas the Risk Assessments are the review of elements of risks within the organization and Compliance, making sure that all laws and regulations are being adhered to. Next, we have the different governing documents, like policies, standards, guidelines, and procedures. Remember that policies are high-level statements, usually one or two sentences. The standards set the required baseline. It establishes consistency across the organization. And then procedures are step-by-step -step instructions on how to meet the standards and the policy. And remember, the guidelines are there only to make sure that you understand and have reviewed the organizational and industry best practices. Some key frameworks that you should be familiar with are the ISO 27000 series, including 27001 and 27002, the IDLE framework, and PCI DSS. Remember, PCI DSS, the credit card industry, is the only self-regulated industry. Next, we have the gap analysis. The gap analysis is there to ensure that we see where we are versus where we want to go. We do this by establishing and monitoring some key metrics like KPIs and KGIs. An example of a good gap analysis would be the balanced scorecard. Next up, intellectual property, patents, trademarks, copyrights, trade secrets. You need to be familiar with which is what and how to identify them within the question themselves. Uh, patents are unique ideas. Uh, copyrights usually are written down like songs or books. Trademarks are what establishes the unique identity of the organization. And trade secrets are the base knowledge of your organization and how they are significant to the business. And the final topic that we'll cover today is incident breach and data disclosure. Incidents are things that have the potential impact on the CIA, where a breach is simply an incident that has been realized. And data disclosure is categorized as data that has been disclosed either through unintentional or intentional means to an unauthorized individual. That's going to do it for this section. If you like what you see here and you want to see more of it, please subscribe, like, and share with anyone who wants to pass their certification on the first time. Remember, as I always say, visualize success and you will succeed. I'll see you next time.